Sadly, two young children are without their father this evening. He was uh, pronounced dead just before six o'clock this morning. Their mother is in a serious condition, remains there at uh, Cork University Hospital following what has been described as a cowardly and horrific attack on the family here on the outskirts of Cork in the early hours of this morning. Forensic officers spent hours combing the crime scene, searching for clues in an effort to hunt down those responsible for the brutal attack. The gang of three masked men, or possibly four, burst their way into the house at around 3 a.m. this morning, singling out the victim and his partner. Both were attacked with machetes, resulting in the two sustaining horrific injuries. The couple's children, aged four and five, and another woman, all in the house at the time, escaped injury. The gang members ran from the farmhouse, which is situated off Magdalen Road, outside Ballincollig in County Cork. Garthy were on the scene within two minutes of the alarm being raised. Armed with weapons to break into a house for the purpose of attacking a man to such an extent that he loses his life. I understand from Gardaí that the scene inside is absolutely horrific and we have to remember that there was young children in the house at the time and they no doubt witnessed um, and overheard everything that happened in the house last night. So I have to have a huge element of concern for those children and as I say for the, the, the friends and family of, the, of, the, of this man. BMW, believed to have been used by the gang, was found burnt out around five miles away. The roads that travelled are extremely remote, leading Garthi to believe the driver had either carried out several runs prior to the attack or had a vast knowledge of the back roads. A people carrier and a 4x4 belonging to the occupants of the house were also removed from the crime scene. Stunned. Absolutely stunned. I can't believe it. What kind of person was he? Which are very quiet men. Only knew him as a neighbour. Yeah. A very, very quiet man. I knew the little boy, all right, but he was going to school with my granddaughter. Frightened at the moment. Terrified. Yeah, quiet. After the snow, afraid of my life to go to bed tonight. Terrified. Mm. Shocking. The man, who's originally from Poland and who worked as a gardener, was pronounced dead before 6 a.m. this morning. His partner remains in hospital. A post-mortem will be carried out on the murder victim's body at Cork University. An incident room has been established at Gronabrohar Guard Station. A senior investigating officer and a family liaison officer have been appointed. House-to-house -house inquiries are ongoing, as are CCTV inquiries. The coroner has been notified and the services of the state pathologist has been requested. The post-mortem is now scheduled for 9am tomorrow morning. Mr. Wilk has left a family, a wife behind, as well as friends in the Polish community and the wider community in Balancholic, and our thoughts are with his family and his friends at this time. We are appealing to the public for any information that they may have. This morning, people would have been returning home from a night out or going to or from work. If you notice anything in the Meglin, Balancholic, Balanora or Waterfall areas, Please contact on Guard Shikona. We are appealing to taxi drivers who may have been dropping or collecting people in those areas to contact us. We are appealing to any person who may have been who may have had a dash cam in their car and travelled in these areas to contact us so we can view their footage. Again, any person who may have been in these areas, Meglin, Ballancolleg, Ballinora and Waterfall between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. on this morning, Sunday the 10th of June 2018, or any person who may have been in these areas in the last three days and may have noticed suspicious or unusual activities, contact us at Gronabrohar Guard Station. And I'll give you the telephone numbers. Gronabrohar Guard Station is 021-4946-200. That's 021-4946-200. At this stage, as I said, Paul, it's early in the investigation. We're looking into all aspects of it. We're appealing to the public. We believe that there were up to four people involved, which that is something that we have yet to confirm. But we're again appealing to the public, if they saw anything, if they saw a car passing their houses or anything like that, to please contact us and give us the information. Because Mr Wilkes was a, a Polish national, will you be dealing and uh, liaising with your colleagues in Interpol and will you be checking phone records? That would all be part of the investigation.
Any idea of motive at this stage? Not at this stage. Again, it's in the early stages of the investigation. Is there any motive that can be ruled out at this stage? Again, it's too early. It's in the early stage of the investigation. But again, look, while we're here, we really need the assistance of the public here. We're looking for help from the public. Do we know the colour of the car? It's, the car has been examined. We haven't established colour. We, we believe it's this 3 Series BMW. And will that be known this evening, do you think? We or? would hope so, but it depends on the forensic examination just, that we're still can, conducting. Can I just clarify, the, the, the woman who was the victim of assault, was that the, the deceased that was the partner, partner or wife? Uh, his, his belief to be how well. is she in the whole the two Well, she's still, she's still in hospital, ha is being treated, as I said, as non-life threatening injuries. And, the and there children. are two children there. What's and happened with the children? Have their family here? They're, sorry, the children are currently in the care of the social workers. Any death is a tragic is a tragic incident and this is a tragic incident as well and that's why our thoughts are with the families and again we'd appeal to the public, you know, people out there may have come across something, it may seem insignificant to you, it may seem insignificant to the person driving down the road, but that could be a key piece of information for us. What and can we you tell us about Mr.